hello everyone welcome you all in my new video in this video i am going to solve one more problem which is based on uniaxial compressive strength so the problem is under the uniaxial compression a cylinder quartzite sample which is having length 122 mm so the length of the sample is 122 mm and the diameter is 60 mm so the diameter is 60 meter 60 mm so the given that length is equals to 120 mm and the diameter which is equals to 60 mm so linear elastic behavior the uniaxial compressive strength and the modulus ratio of the rock are 150 megapascal and 500 respectively so the uniaxial compressive strength that is ucs which is equals to 150 megapascal that is 150 into 10 to the power 6 mega pascal sorry 10 to the power 6 pascal and modulus ratio that is modu modulus ratio which is equals to 75 mega pascal that is equals to 500 and the axial strain at 75 mega pascal during the load was so we have to find the strain that is axial strain we have to find and load that is stress which is equals to 75 mega pascal that is 75 into 10 to the power 6 pascal so as you know the tangent young modulus tangent young's tangent young's modulus which is equals to uniaxial compressive strength into modulus ratio so from uniaxial compressive strength which is given as 150 into 10 to the power 6 and modulus ratio 500 we will get the value of young's modulus so young's modulus will be uniaxial compressive strength is 150 into 10 to the power 6 and modulus ratio is 500 so that will be 75000 into 10 to the power 6 pascal so we get young's modulus now again as you know young's modulus in terms of stress and strain so stress upon strain so young's modulus will be 75000 into 10 to the power 6 is equals to stress stress is 75 into 10 to the power 6 here stress is 75 into 10 to the power 6 and young modulus is 75000 into 10 to the power 6 here the unit is same that is in pascal also in pascal divided by strain or uniaxial strain so strain will be 75 into 10 to the power 6 which is divided by 75000 into 10 to the power 6 which is in unit strain not is strain not is milli strain so that will be 1 upon 10 1 upon 1000 strain so 
if we multiply that will be give if milli strain so axial strain will be in equals to 1 milli strain so our answer will be 1 so the answer will be 1 so thank you for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much